Hi beauties! Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a Thanksgiving inspired look. I was planning to do this look but I had no idea what colors I wanted to use. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use browns or if I wanted to use like cranberry dark deep red colors. So I enlisted the help of my boyfriend to help me figure out what to do and he said a copper smoky eye with a red lip so that's what I came up with. I'm getting more and more into the halo eyes. I used to not think I could be able to pull them off, but with a little bit of practice, I can pull them off. So if you guys want to learn how to get this Thanksgiving inspired look, then keep on watching. All right, so let's get started. Here I already applied my base, which is the same base I use as always. And now I'm going into my Modern Matte palette and I'm taking that medium tone chocolate brown and I'm just going to apply that in my crease as my transition shade. Next, I'm taking an even darker brown in the same color family, and I'm going to start applying that in the inner corners, in the crease, and on the outer corners, and this is going to start the halo slash rainbow shape. Going into my NYX Wicked Dreams palette, I'm taking that really dark brown. It's super dark. It's almost black if you apply enough of it. And I'm basically applying that in the same spots as I applied that brown. I wanted to layer the brown so that way it's a nicer gradient and it's not so harsh. Here I'm just blending out the crease so that way there are no harsh lines and I'm going to keep going back and forth applying that dark brown color. I wanted to do it slowly so that way it's easier to build up rather than applying it all at once and making it harder to blend out. Now I'm taking my foil eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be taking that coppery brown color and I'm actually going to be applying it wet so that way it's more intense and I'm just going to put that in the middle of my lid where that space is. And then I'm just going to blend out the edges so that way the copper shade is not so harsh. I'm taking my Revlon eyeshadow in Vintage Lace and applying that as my highlight with my blending brush so that way it applies a highlight and blends out into the crease all at the same time. Next, I'm just going to be applying my lashes. And now I'm taking my pencil liner and I'm going to apply that on my waterline and my tight line and smudge a little bit of it on the outer corners and inner corners of my lower lash line. Now I'm going back with that dark brown in the Wicked Dreams palette and I'm going to be smudging out that eyeliner and then I'm going to be going in with that copper color and applying it in the middle on my lower lash line, basically following the same layout as on my lid. Thank you. 
taking my liquid liner and just applying it on the inner corner so that way the lashes look more seamless. And then I'm going to be applying my mascara and then move on to the rest of the face. I'm going in with my MAC blush in Desert Rose and just applying that on the cheeks. And I mentioned this in previous tutorials, but I like to layer on my blush a lot and then go in with a stippling brush and blend it out. It just works out better for me that way. To get that glow, of course, I'm going with my glow kit and I'm taking the shade Dripping in Gold and I'm going to be applying that in the same spots as always, my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Now I'm taking this Wet n Wild lipstick. It's a really dark red with brown undertones. I'm just going to be applying that. And after the lips, the look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really love how it came out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.